Hello everybody, my name is Rescube 6 here and today I'm going to be taking a look at a super cool 2x2 two two flush piston door which is super small. Uh, obviously the intro was a little bit exaggerated there, that was pretty fun to make. So if you guys did like the intro then please make sure to leave a like on this video and if you're in the new channel then please make sure to subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, so this is the design that we're going to be building in today's video. So I will also show you how to modify this design to allow a uh, input device such as a lever, uh, pressure plate, obviously this is going to be the pressure plate design, uh, stone button, and uh, yeah those three will be available in this video but if you do want to know how to make a redstone torch key activated device to activate this redstone contraption then uh, there will be a link down in the description and also a link up in uh, the top right right now so you guys can go ahead and click that and then we'll take you to a video explaining all uh, the juicy details behind a redstone torch key. So we have this seemingly innocent wall here with two pressure plates in the front of it and pretty much all you have to do is just walk over the pressure plates and as you can see the piston door folds oh, away and uh, revealing a little passageway so you can walk on through and then after a certain amount of time it will close automatically and uh, you can really enter and exit from each entrance so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how to build this thing alright so for this design we are gonna be using 12 sticky pistons and uh, three repeaters four comparators and a ton of redstone dust and also one redstone torch let's go ahead and get started with the piston layout pretty much all we have to do is come behind your wall whatever uh, wall in your house whatever it doesn't matter come behind that wall and place four pistons facing to the right just like this and then place two pistons right here facing towards the wall that you are building this piston door behind. Now come two blocks off of this piston setup that we just made and then do the whole entire opposite of that piston setup just like this to create this really cool symmetrical piston layout like this. Now these blocks that I'm placing right now outlined in yellow wool those will be wall block so you can go ahead and put whatever wall block that you have on your wall uh, in these spaces here and here so we're gonna go ahead and put blocks on top of all of the pistons just like this and then connect those with two blocks overhead just like this now we're gonna go ahead and add two pieces of rest and dust here and here another two here and here and then the final two here and here now go ahead and grab two repeaters of the three repeaters that you are going to be using and place one here facing in this direction set to two ticks and then the other one facing in this direction or the opposite direction of this repeater set to two ticks just like this and believe it or not that is the whole entire redstone contraption completely finished pretty much all you have to do is add a lever right here flick it and uh, it will automatically do everything so you guys can go ahead and uh, if you are we're planning on using a lever that's pretty much how you do it and uh, you need to power it from these two central blocks right here and here all right so how are we gonna do the wiring for the stone pressure plates pretty much all we have to do is come four blocks away from these two blocks right here so one two three four and on the fourth block we are actually going to be making a eight by two hole so just dig uh, one two three four five six seven eight and then kind of dig this two down into the ground all the way right here and now we can go ahead and start the pulse extender for the actual pressure plates now what we're going to do is we're going to place two pieces of resin dust here and here, another two pieces of resin dust here and here, and then add two comparators facing in this direction towards your pressure plates, and then two comparators facing in this direction towards the redstone door. And that, believe it or not, is our pulse extender completely finished, so you can go ahead and grab your floor blocks and place pressure plates, and if you walk over it, as you can see, it is a pulse extender. Now let's go ahead and wire up the other pressure plates on the other side that will be in this location right here and place two pieces of redstone dust directly underneath these two pressure plates and then just connect it up to the main uh, pulse extender right here. Now how are we going to connect it from down here to up here? Well that's pretty simple. All we're going to do is going to make a trench like this and then destroy this block here and leave this block right here and then add another block right here. Now we can go ahead and add a repeater facing in this direction and then line everything else with redstone dust to create this sort of trench with redstone dust in it. 
Now this redstone does have going into this block, which this block will actually have a redstone torch on top, and then we'll have another block on top of that redstone torch. This redstone torch will be powering this redstone dust just on top of this block, and then this piece of redstone dust will be going into this block, and then there will be an adjacent block right here, and then another adjacent block just like this to create this V shape. Now as soon as we place a redstone repeater down in this location, your final redstone repeater, once we place it down, you will notice that this will get powered and the door will extend, so that is exactly what we want. And if we go ahead and give the pressure plates a tap, as you can see the door will open up and uh, when the pulse extender runs out it will close again. So you can go ahead and uh, fill in all of your floor blocks and then you can go ahead and activate it from those two pressure plates over there and these two pressure plates from over here. Alright, say if you want a button to activate this door on the actual wall or wherever you want your button to be. Pretty much all you have to do is run the button redstone line into this main redstone line right here or even this redstone line right here. Now anything that will activate this pulse extender, which will be the all of this redstone dust here and these two pieces of redstone dust here, so you can go ahead and place redstone line going off like this and then a button and as you can see this will power this pulse extender opening the door it uh, it really is up to you all right so there you have it that has been the redstone tutorial completely finished hopefully you guys liked the video and if you did then please make sure to leave a like on this video that would be greatly appreciated and it also supports the channel and if you're new to the channel then please make sure to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching uh, my name is scoop six and I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, goodbye Oh,